Chairman, thank you. Just to reiterate a, a couple of comments from my uh, last uh, questioning. Um, the, the, the comment of, with regard to Equifax, if you could be vigilant on that to make sure Equifax are very much up to speed. Uh, I know that the uh, uh, those engaged would uh, would appreciate that. And, and the other thing is is with TransUnion and, and securing TransUnion, and you had indicated that you're <coughs> weighing the possibility of that. When we look at the Federal Privacy Commissioner suggesting that you know that's where we should be. Uh, the uh, Consumer Financial Agency of, uh, of Canada recommending that. <clears throat> know that I, I strongly advise if you could uh, um, make sure that uh, that protection to, to at least what we're trying to do now is alleviate some of the concern uh, with the 600,000 people that have been affected. Uh, a couple of questions here. Uh, you had indicated, uh, uh, Mr. Shugart, in your remarks that there were 250 employees that uh, were affected. The coverage that they've been offered, those employees, is it the same as the 600,000? It is the same. Uh, we've been in touch with the employees formally by letter and, the and offered exactly the same Great. services. Thank you very much. Uh, the uh, information, or, or uh, I, I had offered the uh, example of Sony and taking out the um, insurance policy uh, on uh, on those impacted by their breach. Now, I, I would think I would think the the answer to you know, are you guys, do you guys have insurance? I would think the answer would be the government of Canada is its own insurer. Should someone have their information stole, stolen in, in this case, and they end up with a you know degree of financial loss, is the government willing to? Uh, cover the cost of that loss if it can be proven that uh, it, that security was breached or, or it was a, uh, a result of that breach. Are we there? Um, uh, and, and I, again, should, it's up to you whether you answer that thank or you. not. But what the government will do is obviously not uh, in your purview. And uh, again, it's it's a hypothetical. And in, well, in essence, it's well, can I ask if the main, but. Uh, you had a comment. Uh, go ahead. I just want to. Yeah. Can uh, I ask if the department's going to do, it, Mr. Chair? I. I <laughs> okay. I, I, I was just going to say, um, Chair, that I, I don't want to be evasive, but I, I think I have to regard that as as the hypothetical, um, and I, I wouldn't be comfortable in venturing into into that at this stage. Um, you indicated should something happen, and if, um, and we, uh, let me just say that our action plan involves. Uh, very careful monitoring at our end and via the service provided by Equifax, and we will be following this very, very carefully. So the department would not be I didn't in the say process? That. What's well, that? I, I, just, I just said I'm not in a position to okay. uh, speak hypothetically about what the government would or wouldn't do in, in a situation. So you wouldn't not. be preparing a contingency in, in that regard? or? Well, the, the circumstance is itself a hypothetical, and I, I, I'm not in a position to, to comment on that. I just, I just don't want to venture into that hypothetical realm at this stage. Okay. Um, Mr. Sutherland, uh, we've been in contact with Equifax since uh, the last round of questioning, and from a se very senior um, member of the, the company, they've assured us that what the students are getting is the exact same as the average Joe gets, uh, you, you know, that's free of charge in eight out of ten provinces. Draw me two columns. Give me, you know, tell me the difference between the, the two types of coverages, the one that's free and this special design you guys have. Uh, so my information is also from Equifax, so maybe that's something you need to um, work through with Equifax, but if we as and the discussions we've had have been very direct and have been senior as well. Um, but the lost wallet service is a service that is not available nationally. It's not available. No, I, and I had indicated that it's available in eight out of ten provinces. Right. Um, but it does extend for six years. It's my understanding, and what they've told me is it extends for three months. Six years. But any, listen, that's okay. Here, but carry on. Yeah. Yeah, we can, we can <laughs> chat later. Yeah. 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 Or, uh, uh, okay, what are the other differences? 
Well, the, the other difference is the lost wallet alert is of a different standard than the credit flag. The credit flag requires the credit grantor to ask additional questions requiring enhanced authentication, which is a difference than with the lost wallet service, which doesn't have a, the same requirement and compulsion to it. I'm sure they just asked for an additional piece of ID with the lost wallet. The, our, my understanding from Equifax is the requirement is higher. In addition to, there are the customized services we're getting with the client services where they will take time to explain the service and the options that folks may have, including taking off the service and as well what they may do to improve. It's really, it's a package of services that we've, we've purchased and we've, we've asked a number of times Equifax because we have heard out, out there that the comment that you've heard as well and they have assured us that the package of services that we've provided is significant, is something that has a cost attached to it and is not the same as the lost wallet service. I would see the, you know, the cost, I've got a couple of minutes, Mr. Speaker. You have about 30 seconds. Yeah, because I would, I would think if you could provide us with, you know, the detail, I would think the, the specific package would be the additional information, but I don't see any additional protection for, you know, for the people. So, you know, I, I, I'm not certain that that's, that's what's taking place here. The additional client interaction that I had indicated that, you know, we could, we could focus on and try, maybe try to improve. I can see that being a cost, but anyway, maybe if you could provide us with a parallel comparison between the services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.